Hi guys, welcome back. Well, we're going to take a look at Taito Legends. Now, this is a game which has a ton of classic games on it. You know, people always ask me, I want to maybe get into a little bit of retro gaming, but I, you know, I don't really want to be buying all that hardware. This is not something that I can just, you know, slap into one of my current generation consoles. And there is and there isn't. They have brought out a few, certainly for the PS4 and the Xbox One, but sometimes you've got to go back a little bit, and that's certainly the case with this, because Tato Legends is available, but is available on your PlayStation 2. And it's got a ton of games, absolute ton of games on it. So we're going to take a look. We're going to push the start button now. And just wait for it to load a second. Oh, that iconic bit at the beginning there. Absolutely fantastic Space Invaders. So, let's take a look and see what we've got. Battle Shark. Bubble Bobble. Who doesn't like Bubble Bobble? Colony 7. Electric Yo Yo. Some of these even I've never heard of. New Zealand Story. That was a brilliant game. I think I remember playing that in the Commodore. Ninja Kids. Operation Thunderbolt. Now that's very, very similar to Operation Wolf. <laughs> Operation Wolf. Absolutely fantastic game. We'll put that on for soon. Rainbow Islands. Their sequel to Bubble Bobble. Rastan, Return of the Invaders. That sounds like Space Invaders. Space Scum, don't know that one. Everyone's heard of Space Invaders. Space Invaders 2, Super Quiz, Thunder Fox. Right, so we've gone all the way round there. Battle Shark, that sounds like to me it's a sub game. So let's have a little look. Description. To the ocean destroy shipping. Alright, but well, let's have let's give it a go. Insert coin. I love it. Alright, so this is more or less, we're playing the original arcade games, brilliant, because this has been my back catalogue for some time, this one. Let's slap in a few credits there. Oh, I see, that would actually, if I wanted to go all the way back, okay, so push the trigger button. Oh, it's fairly simple, isn't it? Supposed to shoot that. Oh, bogus. Oh, I see. Changed me. You know what, it's not a bad little game, this. I'm quite enjoying it. To those on board, destroy the enemy's base on the bottom of the sea. Objective, mobile base Galvado. Roger. This is just really a rail shooter. Ooh. Sneaky. <laughs> and it's getting more to be more difficult now. Really difficult. 
difficult to see now. I missed this. Okay. Like I'm done for. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Quirky, I love it. Right, so we won't continue. Quit. Yep, take us back to the main menu, hopefully. Yep. Brilliant. Well, I've never played that before in my life. So let's go back. Bubble bubble, come on, let's have a blast of it. Everybody's played Bubble Bobble, surely. It's one of the most easiest games you'll ever play. And so you get absolutely further in the levels, of which it then still starts to get a lot more difficult. But it's that iconic music. Just brilliant. Right. Let's throw in a few credits. You don't get more retro than this, do you? Just probably. Oh, I'll push the wrong button then. <laughs> Just great fun. Oh, you jump past me, swine. Done it again. <laughs> oh, it's getting mad. Come on. Got it. Just wrong. Anyway, that's bubble bubble. Let's move on to another. The fantastic bubble bubble. I don't think anything says more retro than that one game. Just brilliant. Right, so yeah, bubble bubble. Colony 7, I've never heard of. So let's go and have a little go at it. And this is, you know, this is fantastic. You can pick the, this game really cheap now. You know, Tato Legends. There's a second one as well, Tato Legends 2. And just quickly count the back here. One, two, three, four, five. Four, five, six. 31, I think I've counted there. Ooh, now this looks a bit like Defender, doesn't it? Okay, haven't got a clue what I'm doing. I see.
Oh, oh, oh. Sneaky little buggers these. Not the easiest things to hit. Something there. Oh, I think that was game over. I assume it's because they're breaking through. All of a sudden now, I'm stuck. Hmm, don't know about that one. It looks interesting enough, but... Don't know. Like I say, I've never played that one before in my life, so... I'm just itching to really play Operation Wolf, so... Unless we see something I really want to play, but there's plenty here. Ninja Kids, can't remember that. Operation Wolf, what a game this is. I cannot remember how many hours, probably days, weeks over the years, I have spent playing this one game. It was absolutely fantastic in the arcades. You had like a, I suppose, an Uzi to hold on to. Just brilliant. Operation Wolf. Let's get it on. Operation initiated. Oh my god, that is fast. Look how quick that is. That is ridiculously quick. Just a brilliant game. Obviously better if you... You yeah, don't. Oops. I had a light gun. Oh shoot, the bloody magazine! Got it. Oh, missed the grenade. I'm all over the place. I'm putting a lovely silhouette around some of these people. Oh, that's it. Game over. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's a fantastic game, but I'll tell you what, using the control on that, it is super fast, the sight. I think too quick. Let's take a look, though, at a game that's very, very similar. That's Operation Thunderbolt. Tito. Operation initiated. Rescue all hostages. 
gather intelligence information. Oh my god, it's just as quick. Ridiculously fast the sight. Great game supply. So much fun. Missed it. Keep missing that damn rat that keeps running across the road as well. Oh, I missed it again! Sign. It's the bloody rat. Just super fast paced action. Come on, make it to the house. Thank God for that. I ain't obviously making uh, making it too far on this one. No, no. <laughs> oh my bird. Nope, that was it. <laughs> that was quick. <laughs> oh man. But what a brilliant game. Right. Let's have a look at one more. And then we'll call it quits. You know what? I think we have to, don't we? Space gun. That does intrigue me. But you know what? You've got to have a game of Space Invaders. The original classic. Oh man, just look at that screen. Does it take you back or what? Right, let's get a few credits in. Let's get going. Oh my god, the noise! Just so retro. Too busy looking at the bloody mothership. Right, gets that straight. Come on. Busy trying to get all that mothership. That's oh, where it starts to get a bit silly now. Oh no! <laughs> Last one. Oh, cack! He beat me. <laughs> 
Oh man, what a brilliant trip down memory lane this is. Just fantastic. Absolutely fantastic. Should we look at one more? Let's just see what else is left. Let's have a look at that Thunder Fox and then we'll call it a day. Fire weapon, jump, kick, swing weapon. This should be interesting. Break through the enemy. Oh, it's a run gun. It's a good one. Love it. How cool is this? That was brilliant. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Oh god, what the hell are these? My life go. Destroy the Oh, now we're talking. Come on. Come on. Get it finished. Thank you for it. Excellent, 
What a brilliant game. Well, I'm going to leave this one there. That's a fantastic game. You know what? We may come back to that one on another day. That's a really good game. And that's Tato Legends for you. Now, like I say, they brought out two games for this. I'm pretty sure these came out for the Xbox 360. Uh, this is the PlayStation 2 version. And I've certainly had an absolute blast playing these. I think we may uh, return to this uh, disc again. I'll play a few more different games, but there you have it. Tato Legends, you can't go wrong if you want to play a few retro games. And some of them are just fantastic. Well, I hope you've enjoyed this. I've certainly enjoyed bringing it to you. I'd like to thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me. Catch you all again. Take care.